Okay, today we're going to talk about how do seeds form and grow. How do seeds form and grow. In most plants, seeds are made in flowers. The seeds of flowering plants are formed when male sex cells join with female sex cells. Sex cells. Male sex cells are found in pollen. Okay, so males are found in pollen. Have you ever brushed up against a flower and come away with a yellow or orange powder on your arm? These Powder is pollen. Pollen is produced by a plant of the flower that is known as anther. So, anther produces pollen. Female sex cells, the eggs, are in a part of the plant known as the pistil. The transfer of pollen grain to the pistil is called pollination. Pollination can take a place when pollen is escaped from flowers, anther to its own pistol or another flower or pistols. Look at the diagram. Find the antler and pistols. Okay. So, in the picture, uh, this is going to be very hard to draw. This is the pistol. And there is a small anther. Okay. I hope that kind of satisfies your needs. So, this big thing is called pistol. And this little thing is called angler, and the pollen. Let's make them yellow. Must go from here into here. Okay. Unlike many other living things, plants cannot move from place to place. How do you think pollen from one plant reaches to another? Plants rely on insects, birds, mammals, winds, or water to help with pollination. Insects and other animals are, tra are attracted to the bright colors and the sweet smell of some flowers. They feed on the pollen or sugary food called nectar that flowers make. They may pick up some pollen on their body. If the animals then visit another flower of the same kind, pollen may rub off onto its pistils. Other flowering plants rely on wind to blow pollen from one plant to the next. Some water plants use the water to carry their pollen to other plants. So, those are things that help pollination. After pollination, the next step in the formation of the seed is fertilization. Fertilization is the joining of female sex cells and male sex cells into one cell, a fertilized egg. Okay, so there's the egg, and the goes in, male sex cells, which is called sperm, goes in, then it, this process is called fertilization. After pollen reaches a pistol, pollen tube starts to grow. The pollen tube grows down the flower into the ovary. The ovary is a structure containing egg cells. It is the ovaries that grows to form a protective fruit. Ah. So, when you look at the picture, you see pollen grain, pollen tube, pistils, ovary, and eggs. Okay. The pollen tube grows until it, it reaches an egg. The male sex cell then 
travels down the pollen tube and combines with the egg. The plant egg is now fertilized. A seed develops from fertilized egg cell. Look at the photo of the bean seed. Can you find the beginning of a root, stem, and leaves? Together, this part of seed is called embryo. Each seed is an embryo and a food source. When the time is right, the embryo uses food to begin to grow its first root, stem, leaves, and new plant develops. So from a bean, you need to find things like the root, okay, 